Today I'm at the Manitou Incline, Manitou Springs, Colorado, just outside of Colorado Springs. The Manitou Incline was once a three-foot funicular railroad that went up to the top of this peak in order to access a hydroelectric plant and water tanks which fed via gravity the towns of Manitou Springs and Colorado Springs. The rock slide in 1990 destroyed the railroad and the decision was made not to rebuild it. And up until about 2013, it was illegal to actually trespass on it. The land crosses through the possession of three different entities. The bottom is owned by the city of Colorado Springs, the middle by the Pikes Peak Cog Railroad, and the top by the U.S. Forest Service. It's become a popular destination for fitness fanatics, and it requires acclimatization because the base alone is at 6,600 feet. If you come out here to hike it, you're going to cover 2,011 vertical feet in just under a mile, 0.88 miles which means it's got an average grade of 45% or 24 degrees. And in some cases it gets as steep as 68% or 34 degrees. And all told, you'll cover 2,768 steps. The local army and air force bases, as well as the Olympic Training Center, use it as a fitness challenge. Once you get to the top, you don't have to come straight down. In fact, they tell you not to come down the stairs. It's actually a 2.79 mile trail that winds its way back down, give you a little bit of a break on the way down. If you can't make it all the way, there's bailouts where you can access the trail that takes you down. That's because any emergency here would require someone to be walked or carried down, which is gonna be a serious issue. And if you can see in the back, what appears to be the summit is actually a false summit. The whole time you're climbing up, that's all you see. And then when you get to the top of it, you still have hundreds of feet to go. It's really demoralizing. Now, of course, with something like this, there's records that have been set. A U.S. mountain team running member, Joseph Gray, did it in 17 minutes and 45 seconds. And the female records by Allie McLaughlin, 20 minutes and 7 seconds. Now, in 2012, the first inclinathon happened, which required 13 trips up and down in one day. The record for that is 10 hours and 34 minutes. And then, of course, there's an ultra inclinathon, which is how many you can do in a single 24 hour period with the record being 22 trips up and down, a total of 44,000 feet of altitude gain. But the record for biggest madman goes to local Greg Cummings, who in 2011 decided to climb this 500 times. Of course, setting a record like that means that others are gonna try and break it, which they have multiple times over. In fact, Greg's gone back and forth with several others for the record of most ascents in one 365 day year. But in 2020, Greg retook the record, and in doing so took back the world record for most elevation climbed in a single year of 3.6 million vertical feet. And he did that by climbing the Manitou Incline 1,825 times in a 365 day period. Anyone good at math will know that that's an average of five times a day, every day, including days like today, where it's like nine degrees out my hands freezing and he kept doing that in fact during that latest record attempt there was only a couple of days where he only went once which means that he was probably doing more than five times a day on average now i've already climbed the manitou incline a couple of years ago i did it in around 40 minutes which is a pretty respectable time but if you think i'm going to do it in nine degree weather with the ice covered steps and knowing that some eight-year-old is probably gonna get lost on their way to an unboxing video and just end up disliking this one anyway, I'm not gonna put that kind of effort in. So until next time, get lost.